Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine two SharePoint lists into a single collection using an ID. If you enjoy SharePoint teams, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power BI videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. And now for my intro. All right, so we are going to be working with two SharePoint lists. I have my contractor list here. It just lists my contractors with the first name, last name, favorite sport. And we're going to be working with the job grade field. So this is a lookup field on my contractor salary list. So I use this lookup field value to find this actual salary amount for each contractor. So if I navigate over to the contractor salary list, we have the uh, SharePoint ID. This will not be used in this one so i'll go ahead and remove that the regular id is just created with every item i'm actually using a master id right here so this is a single line of text column i'm not going to be using a number column because when i do my comparison in power apps the job grade value output is a text field so i'm going to be comparing text to text so if this was a number, I would have to convert the, the number to a text value or inverse to get the correct comparison. So just to save me some headaches down the line, I have them both text. So each master ID relates to a salary column. And what I'm going to be doing in Power Apps is getting the salary to each contractor and having that in a singular collection. So let's go ahead and navigate over to my Power App. All right, so we're in my Power App right now. So let's go ahead and import this data. So I'm just clicking the data tab on the left-hand side, SharePoint. I am using my marketing SharePoint and the list we're using is the contractor and the contract salary list. So the data is now imported. So I will be using a button to do all these data operations. I'm basically just creating two collections and then based on that, I'm adding the column from the one collection to the other. So let's go ahead and just rename this bun to data operation. All right, so we will be working with the on select right here. I'm going to go ahead and do a clear collect and I will just name this one um, COL contractor and that is going to contain my contractor list. So contractor list. go ahead and close this up so if I run this and I double click on the COL contractor I can see that my collection now has data in it and it doesn't contain a salary field here but later it will I'll probably put that in another collection all right let's go ahead and add the COL salary lists so this list will contain my salary information. So contractor, salary list. We'll go ahead and close that up. Make sure your formatting is correct and using correct syntax. So closing up your parentheses with semicolons. So I click on that. We now have our master ID and each master ID links to a corresponding salary. So let me go ahead and do another clear collect. We'll just do COL master because we are storing all the data I need in this master collection. So we'll be using the add columns formula. So add columns. I'm going to be adding columns on my COL contractor collection because I will be adding the salary column from my COL salary collection into the COL master. So we're added, adding columns. So the column name for this one is going to be just salary. If you do have a space in your column name, like let's say I want to do salary amount, you would have to put it in single quotes. So I will be doing salary. We will be using a lookup formula to actually get the appropriate salary value. So we're looking up on my contractor collection. We will be looking at 
the master ID is equal to the job grade. So I'm looking for if the master ID, which is this. So if we use Michael Alex in this situation, I want the job grade uh, value six to look at the master ID six and pull the $100,000 value. So let me actually invert this so it looks easier for my viewers. So job grade. So this is a lookup field. So I will do job grade dot value. The lookup field values are text. So if you do the comparison, just make sure you're comparing it against a text value. So we'll do equals master ID. And then I want to return the corresponding salary. Let's go ahead and close up this clear collect. Uh, this is the code right here. Let me format this a little better. Let me just explain this again. So my first collection is the contractor list. So that's all the data. If you want to filter out, go ahead and add some filters to that if you only want to look at a selection of data. My second collection is my salary list and it just contains all of the salary information. In the end, I'm storing my master list to have all the contractor list information and then just the salary from the contractor salary list. So I'm adding the salary column and based on the job grade value, if it matches up to the corresponding master ID, it will return the salary. Let's go ahead and click on the data operation. So if I look at my CLO master, we can see that I have all my information for my contractor list. And then we also do have the corresponding salary based on the job grade value. This is a record field, so I won't be able to see that right away. Let me go ahead and just put this in a data table for everybody. The data table, and I will do CLO master, because that's where all my information is stored. And then we can edit the fields shown. I want to show first name, last name, I want to show the job grade as well, and then I want to show the salary. Okay, so since that lookup field was actually a record, let's go ahead and correct this error. And to correct that error, I just want to do dot value. So we have all my contractors, what job grade they are, and the corresponding salary. And that is that corresponding salary is in the separate SharePoint list. And since the two SharePoint lists are based on an ID, I'm able to link that together using the add columns function. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like. If you have any comments, leave them down below. If you really like my videos, feel free to subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one.